Hey there, you've reached Barking Bird. This is Al, and I'm here to show you what I found at the yard sales this weekend. We've been struggling a bit lately at yard sales, and I am excited to say that it turned loose this weekend. There were a lot of yard sales. Uh, the weather was, well, cold, but nice. And, well, I think we did pretty darn good. So let's get into it. The first thing you'll notice is I bought a few golf clubs. They were everywhere this weekend. I think there's somewhere in the neighborhood of about 70 golf clubs I picked up this weekend. Um, I paid about $160 for them. And we got a lot of different stuff, obviously. We got a, a set. It's the six through pitching wedge of these Adams V4 ideas. Just got a couple of... Uh, this is a different Adams idea. It's the V4. A couple of those clubs. We got a set of the Adams XTDs. I think that's a six through wedge set. Uh, an Adams uh, V4 uh, hybrid club there. I got a set of the Adams A4. Four R irons. I got a whole bunch of wedges here. There's some good ones. Adams Tom Watson wedges. There's three or four of those. Uh, Cleveland GC15 zip groove. That's a good wedge. Titleist Volky uh, design. Another good wedge there. We got a few different hybrid clubs. Uh, most of those are Adams got three of these tailor-made burner drivers. Two are 10 and a half degree, one is 11 and a half. Uh, tailor-made R580XD. That's kind of an older club that probably isn't worth much, but still is going to get resold because, well, it does have a little value. I sold another one of these recently and did pretty well. These need to be cleaned up, obviously. Uh, it's the Adams Super LS idea. We got this Callaway Razor X driver. That's a 43 inch. That's a little less than standard these days. When I was younger, that's what standard was, was 43 inches. I think now it's 44 or 45. We got a couple of these uh, Adams tight lies. We've got this thing, this one will probably not get sold. This is an Alien Wedge by Pat Simmons. I actually knew Pat at one point in time. Um, but this shaft is really badly pitted. I think it needs a new shaft before anything happens. I got a whole set. I think this is Sand Wedge through one iron. Yes, an actual one iron of these uh, Tommy Armor 845S Silver Scots. That's about a $100 set in case you've never seen a one iron before because nobody carries them anymore. Every set I've ever bought has one of those. There you go. There's a one iron. Got a set of Olimar irons. I didn't even know Olimar was still making clubs. Now, when I was a kid, Olimar was well known for their persimmon woods. Some of the best on the market at that point in time. This is the SF302. That's about a $110 set of irons. What do we have here? Another another big birth of Warbird. Adams Golf Speedline 10.5 degree driver. Again, that's all going to come out pretty good, like $160. Conservatively, that should be worth about uh, $13 to $1,400 for me. I'll be excited to get that all listed. I've got a few of them listed already. Um, get this cleaned up a little bit and come back with the rest of what we found yesterday. A bit more what we found yesterday. This was kind of interesting. Got these uh, seven inch light stakes. It's a 25 pack. We got six of those. I wasn't really too excited about them, but then the lady said, I'll give you all six of them for two bucks. I said, well, heck, how can I say no to that? Um, they sell in packs of two for about $25 on eBay, so that'll be some, some good profit. I may have to hold on to it for a little while. It is, uh, it is um, 
not Christmas time right now, obviously. I got this uh, this handy dandy little knife, a little meat cleaver. Never bought one of those these before. I've uh, protecting myself from it so that nothing happens. I've already got this listed for forty dollars. It's a Joyce Chen, a uh, nice uh, wooden handle. Um, apparently, a fairly high quality, made in Japan stainless steel meat cleaver. Uh, that should sell for, like I said, it should go for about $40. In fact, there's others going for quite a bit more than that right now. Um, got some nice Merrill kind of, I don't know, running boots, I guess you'd call these. They look like boots, but they're they're low top. Almost no wear on these. That's very nice. Picked these up for, uh, what was it, $3. I think those would go for about 20, 25 or 30 That cleaver, by the way, I got for $3. Some nice sandals here. I'm not even certain how to say that. Obio? Obio? I'm not sure. Got those for $3. You can see it says $5 right in there, but they gave them to me for three. Uh, those again ought to go for about $25 or $30. Got over to, I got over to my, my favorite uh, Amazon overstock store. I got these uh, Stridex pads for $5. That had to go for about 25 for the pack of three of them. We got this Philips Jog Proof CD player uh, with a case, with batteries. It's got the cords. It's got really everything that goes with it. I have not tested it. They did tell me that it works. I uh, picked that up for $1. Um, that ought to go for about 15 to 20 Got this, uh, this nice Bella Cuisine double boiler. If that's what you call that. It's inside the next. We picked that up for five dollars. I'm seeing that for about thirty. Uh, Mario Kart Wii. Uh, we've got a case there. No artwork. Uh, Two dollars for the game. That ought to go for about twenty. We picked up an Eddie Bauer bocce ball set. Um, I had not seen one of these before. I'm noticing now that we do have little damage in the case. The case is a little old and the set is not complete. It comes with everything but the yellow ball. I've already ordered the yellow ball. I bought this for five dollars. The yellow ball is going to cost me, I think it was uh, twelve. Um, when I comped this out I saw prices around sixty dollars. I did not do a very good complete job of comping this out because those are all asking prices. There's only one sold. I think it sold for about forty. Uh, but that's probably not something that I would pick up again, primarily because it's big, it's heavy, and uh, it does not have a good sales record. All right, then a couple of thrift store finds here. We got some Lexmark ink. I cannot find an expiration date on it. I don't know if it's expired. Maybe there isn't one on this. That was five dollars. That goes for about thirty. And then we uh, picked up this T Link. You can see the four on there. Four dollars. That goes for about $35. If it works, i got to get that tested. I have not tested it yet. Well, that was a pretty good weekend. If I could have those every week, I'd be pretty excited. Um, just to go over the numbers a little bit here, uh, we, outside of the golf clubs, we spent a whopping total of $26 for $248 worth of stuff. Uh, the golf clubs, of course, were $160. Uh, conservatively about $1,300 in sales should come out of that. I've got some of that listed now. I think we should do better, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, that's a total of $1,548 worth of sales. We should get out of $186 worth of purchases. Uh, the, big, uh, the big part of that golf club sale was kind of surprising. I was the last person there on Sunday. They were actually packing up and nobody, I mean, nobody came in after me. I uh, wonder what I missed earlier in the day. Should have been there sooner. Uh, the total sales, again, for, should be $1,548. We take the cost of goods out of there, we get down to $1,352. I, I call that about $240 worth of eBay fees. Hopefully it's less. We'll be at about $1,112 profit on that. If every weekend were that good, I wouldn't have to spend quite so much time sourcing. Not that I don't enjoy sourcing, because I really do. But I can always find something else to do. I uh, got a little bad news this weekend. 
The Peaches to Beaches yard sale has been postponed until August. It will be running opposite the 127. I was planning on doing both of those this year, so I'm a little bummed out about that. But I'll still be getting up there to the 127 and making some money. Anyway, hope you all are having a good day. Bear down and keep at it.